I just wanted to share just a quick tip. Um, I use Liquitex Gloss Medium to as a medium and sometimes as a varnish. And what happens is I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but you can see it kind of builds up on the tool. So if you were doing, if you were wanting really precise, even dots to just do single, like consistent dots, I'll scrape the side. So you can see how it's where I've scraped it, how much it's building up and it's creating like a, a bubble around it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm not actually dotting all the way down. I'm just creating the size dots that I want to create not going to the full size dot of the tool. But if you were like with the, I usually use the individual size, like half millimeter increments typically on the base dot. And then for the top dots, I will just roughly gauge it as like a guesstimate because for me I've once you've learned how to eyeball to do the top dots over the initial dots it's a lot easier as long as you've got the consistency in the base dots so I thought I'd just share that quick tip to if you are like when you're doing your base dots the more regularly you clean the tool the more consistent sizes you'll get in your dot sizes so if you're having issues with inconsistent dot sizes just clean your tool more regularly um or you can use water to thin the paint if if you need but i prefer the texture and i prefer the big fluffy puffy dots so that's why i like the liquitex gloss medium which I mix at about three to one, um, three parts gloss medium to one part water, roughly, in a bottle. I just use just a squeeze bottle.